Friday we just had sun, Friday we just had this. How's everyone doing this evening? Staying warm? I hope so. Better than Wednesday anyway, right? So, uh, as you're busy, uh, unfortunately, uh, I had to again uh, attend to some medical issues related to the father, so uh, we hope that goes okay. So he wanted me to fill in today. So, I thought we would talk about a few things that happened this week as they relate to Sikhi. So I can start off uh, with, uh, let's start with Tuesday, January 29th. Does anyone know the significance of that date? It doesn't directly relate to Sikhi, but we should talk about it. Something happened in Canada a few years ago. Yes? That was the 30th, actually. I was going to ask you the second year. Wasn't it? I thought that was the 30th. It was also but close to it. Because uh, I remember me and my mom were on the highway and we were just having a few bags. Yeah, I think that's January 30th. The 29th or something else. I see a hand back there. Yeah? Uh, I think it was Brown Lives Matter. Yeah, that's what he just said. Okay. There's something before that. I will, I'll come back to that, though. But actually, yeah. something happened on January 29th. 2017, two years ago, there was a, a very bad incident that happened in Quebec City. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Well, the reason it relates to Sikhi is because there was uh, a hate crime that happened at a place of worship. Now, it wasn't a Gurdwara, but it very well could have been. It was actually at a mosque in Quebec City that someone walked in there and actually you know, when the uh, place was time for prayer, he uh, started shooting people and killed, ended up killing six people and uh, wounding uh, or injuring 19 other people. So uh, on January 29th, what they do now is they have a little remembrance ceremony. So they had one at Brampton City Hall. They had one at Mississauga City Hall. And they just, it's an occasion for us to remember that that there's a lot of hatred in this world, a lot of intolerance. And if we don't stand up against these things, then guess what? It spreads in this world, right? Especially when you have leaders who uh, promote division, leaders who promote hatred, then guess what? It makes everybody else feel like, hey, I guess that's okay. If our leader is talking like that, if our leader is saying things like that, then that attitude starts to spread. And we can see that in the world spreading right now. It doesn't matter what religion you belong to. If you believe in God, then you would be against things like this happening. And it completely goes against what religion is about. And uh, even beyond religion, it goes against what it means to be a human being, right? Because as a human being, the, the fundamental concept of being a human being is respect for each other, and this is the complete opposite of that. And uh, the reason it hits close to home for us is because something like that happened to us too, not in Canada. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? A few years ago, there was an incident that happened. Um, are you exactly. Yep. That's right. Which it was in Wisconsin, which is a, a state in the U.S., um, the state where Milwaukee is located, right? And uh, so in this place, in this uh, state of Wisconsin, uh, we had uh, an incident where uh, someone walked into a Gurdwara and uh, they started killing people. And so this is exactly the same thing that repeated itself in a different place of worship, right? So, well, inside an artist, no, hoya, ni hoya we should still be able to relate to people in the situation because that very well uh, could have happened uh, at a Gurdwara, what the person did at the mosque. And whenever something like this happens, we should stand beside our brothers and sisters, whatever religion they're from. And so that's why I went and attended the ceremony at Brampton City Hall in the morning. There weren't a lot of people. The weather was quite bad. Uh, there was the, the uh, we just had the big uh, snowfall the previous day. Um, and, uh, and then in the evening it was nice because we had some representation 
from the Sikh community there uh, on Tuesday evening. There was a, um, a young lady from World Sikh Organization who was there to speak on behalf of the Sikh community. So that was very nice. And uh, that showed that, you know, uh, we'll stand with you, right? On these types of events, the main thing is to show that you feel somebody else's pain and that you will stand with them, you'll support them. So that was January 29th. Then we had January 20, uh, January 30th, which uh, people, a few people mentioned. That was, for those of you who don't know, what was it again? Bell Let's Talk Day, that's right, okay. So, or let's just say Let's Talk Day. Bell wants to get their prom corporate promotion, that's why they attach their name to it. It's okay though, they're spending money on it, it's a good thing, but what's the purpose of this day? This was a uh, Wednesday, I believe, right? The 30th? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there's uh, awareness on mental health issues. That's right. So uh, for the past few years, it's been a quite a few years, I'm not sure exactly how many, but they've been uh, using this one day in a year to talk about something very important that affects, uh, they say, uh, a lot of people. Directly it affects, they say, one in five people are affected by mental health issues. But if you look at those one in five, they all have family, siblings, friends, family. So it actually ends up affecting a lot more than one in five, right? So uh, there's something that prevents people uh, from getting help, from talking about it, and that's what we call uh, stigma. Does anyone know what stigma means? You know what that means? Yeah. Kind of? It's okay, give it a shot, Sakita. Like, um, like it's like, like a stereotype? Like a stereotype? Kind of, yeah. It's like when you're worried about what people will think, right? They, eh, सारे लोग कहाँ बैठे हैं पर खास करके आप अपनी कम्युनिटी में बहुत ज़्यादा गया कि लोग की फिकर कर देने कि जेमिनू इस तरह कोई प्रॉब्लम हो गई है तो लोग की की कहेंगे जो लोगों को पता लग गया है तो ये करके एक गाल ना ऐसी गाल नहीं कर दे लोगों के रख दे यहाँ तो उधर ज़्यादा नुकसान होता है इट that this is a problem, first of all, if you have this problem, you're not the only one. There are millions and millions of other people who have this, who have some type of issue, right? And there's a whole spectrum of things that can go wrong with us mentally, all the way from like a, a very severe condition, like schizophrenia, all the way to, for example, loneliness, depression, things like that, right? And fellas, he saw this, he said, it's only but but now we're realizing more and more that it's affecting a lot of youth as well, right? People who are younger, whether they're in grade school or in high school or in college, university, uh, these things are affecting a lot more people. And the first solution is actually to bring it out in the open, right? They say that light is a disinfectant, right? light so that is a way of killing a lot of bad things, right? When you bring it out in the light. So just by having this day, it gets people talking. It helps get rid of this stigma that it's a raw, it's a bad thing or it's a sign of weakness. And it shows that if people need help, we should provide the ways for them to get help, right? And I know like not everyone has the problem to the extent of um, you know, where it's a chemical problem, where they need professional help, but a lot of people struggle with mental issues, and the first thing that we can do about it is to be there for each other, okay? Be there for, first of all, as a family, right? Be there for your siblings, be there for your spouse. Husband should be, should be there for their wife, wife should be there for her husband. You have to communicate. It makes things worse, right? And so I think this is the first thing that usually before a problem becomes a big problem, it starts off as a very small problem, right? And the whole point of this day is deal with a problem as soon as you can. Instead of pretending it's not there or hiding it, then it becomes bigger and bigger. And then it gets to a certain point when you've seen a lot of the craziness that goes on in the world, a lot of those things come back to mental health issues, right? When people snap and go crazy and start killing people or hurting their own family, right? Domestic abuse, um, you know, uh, child abuse, things like that. A lot of those things are rooted in mental health, right? So that's why it's very important. I hope we can get over this 
ਜਿਵੇਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਸਰੀਰਕ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆਰ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਇਜ਼ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁਡਨਟ ਫਰਗੇਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਆਰ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਐਂਡ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਅਸ ਸਮ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਵੇਜ਼ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਕੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਆਰ ਹੈਲਥ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਬਲੀਵਸ ਇਨ ਬੀ ਇਨ 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 ਹੈਲਥ ਰਾਈਟ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਟੀਚਸ ਅਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਹੈਲਥੀ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲੀ ਹੈਲਥੀ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਐਸ ਮੈਂਟਲੀ ਹੈਲਥੀ and what are some tools that guru sahib has given us to take care of our health both our mind and our body what are some things you can think of that guru ji is saying that we should take care of our health what do you, what do you think guru ji has given us to help us take care of our health is here hanji okay yes gatka so you can say in general physical activity right sikhi teaches us that we need to be physically active So one way of doing that for example is the sick martial arts things like gatka shastra vidya what's another way that sikhi gives us of being uh, physically active yes haji medit absolutely yeah and actually people think that's just for your mind but because the mind and body are connected when you actually do meditation when you do nam simran you are taking care of not only your mind but also your body right Another great way to give ourselves the physical um exertion the physical um exercise that we need is through seva right guru sahib says do, do seva now most types of seva involve physical activity don't they right so jadon assi langar di seva karde ha jodiyan di seva koi bhi seva assi karde ha chances are we're doing something better than just what we'd be doing sitting on the sofa right ਆਪਣੇ ਸਰੀਰ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੁਛ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹਿਲਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਯੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਆਰ ਬਾਡੀ ਟੂ ਹੈਲਪ ਅਦਰਸ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਕੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਅਦਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਬਟ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਆਲਸੋ ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਕੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਅਸਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਜਸਟ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਥੈਟ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਅਦਰ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਥੈਟ ਆਰ ਪਾਰਟ ਆਫ ਆਰ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਆਰ ਕਲਚਰ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਵਾਕਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਰੀਲੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਥਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਰਾਈਟ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਵਿਦ ਯੂਰ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਥੈਨ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਕੰਬਾਈਨ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਟੂ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਵੀ ਗੋ ਫॉर ਅ ਵਾਕ ਵੈਨ ਆਈ ਡੂ ਥੈਟ ਵਿਦ ਮਾਈ ਮਮ ਔਰ ਮਾਈ ਡੈਡ what i like is you're getting physical activity but you're also getting a chance to talk with them right and normally you wouldn't get a chance cuz everybody's so busy so no mauka milda hai gal baat karne ka te jadon tu hi apna koi time netro apna roti pani kar to baad for example after you eat you go for 15 or 20 minute walk you get a chance to talk right gal baat karde ho dukh sukh karde ho you share your problems it really helps everybody's physical and mental health So there are a lot of little things we can do. The other thing is be a good friend, right? And all of us that's important. It doesn't matter whether you're uh in grade 1 or you're a, a, a senior, right? So my daughter koi bhi umar hai, we can all be a good friend to somebody and you don't realize how important that can be to somebody else's life, right? Kai bari na bahut jadi bimariyan ne sirf ede karke hundiyan ne ke koi banda lagda hai ke main kalla hai. Mere kol hor koi hai nahi duniya mein, right? and by being there for someone it can make a, you can make a big difference in somebody's life by being there not just to give advice but more importantly being there to listen to them right you being uh you know letting them know that they have a shoulder right moda tusi moda na moda la ke unno unno eh ehsaas hona chahiye ke mere naal koi ithe khada i have a friend i have somebody who who's with me right so a lot of these solutions they don't cost money they cost a little bit of our time and a little bit of our energy and the rewards we receive and others receive are great so let's not overlook that because seva means a lot of things it means of course doing seva to gurdwara but being a good friend to someone that's a seva too right if there's someone at school that nobody cares about you can tell that person's a loner and they're sad they're depressed if you reach out to them and you can be a friend to them that's seva that's a really big seva okay So think about that guys open your eyes look around if you need a friend be a friend right that's what they say because usually those things go hand in hand right je tonu koi dost je ton yaar chahiye the yaar bano kise da ohde naal do hi cheezan ho jandiyan dooje da vi bhala de apna right so that was the 30th then we had january 31st yesterday right so yesterday yes it was the first It was a good work. Does anyone know what your work was like yesterday? That does not surprise me because uh other than the big work works we forget them especially we forget certain uh gurus kind of get overlooked believe it or not which is unfortunate because every guru is as important as any other guru right? They call si honey. Close. You were so close. I was getting excited. Begins with the heart. Yes. 
No. <laughs> We're almost there, yeah. Guru Har Raya Saji. Sri Guru Har Raya Saji, the Kalpur Kashiga, according to Nanak Sai calendar. So let's talk a little bit about this uh, 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 Satme Pasha who gave us so many gifts. Um, first of all, it says in Punjabi, which, uh, and so tell me in English, which Guru talk with you? Guru Har Raya Saji? Oh no? Everyone knows first and tenth for sure. Some people know fifth, but the ones in between we get confused, right? I see a hand up there. Yes, Miss Loretta. Yeah. Seventh. The seventh. That's right. He was the seventh, sixth guru. Uh, he came after Guru Hargobind Sahib and before Guru Har Krishna Sahib. And every guru was the embodiment of light and embodied many important six uh, qualities, right? That are important. They all embodied love and humility and patience and all those but sometimes a guru, guru is known for certain things especially so does anyone know what guru harai is known for especially so whenever you think of him you think of these things there's a couple of things well one was health okay a lot of people don't know this but he was of course a big believer in health and helping people be healthy and what he gave was a very special type of medicine, which was natural medicine, right? He used her, uh, herbs or herbs and natural remedies to help people be healthy, right? And he was a big believer in using what God has given us in the forms of plants and sabzia and, and other things like that, using those to be healthier and help other people become healthy. And he in fact had a dispensary in which he would give people he would try to find a natural remedy for them uh, because the beautiful thing about natural remedies is the lack of side effects right the medicine we use today that we become dependent on the problem is whatever medicine you take it fixes one or two problems but it creates two or three more right and that's why that's the problem with prescription drugs but the great thing about natural medicine is generally uh, it may take longer to work, but generally it won't have any negative effects on our health. Right? So Guru Harai Sabji uh, did that. He's known for one thing, which was natural medicine. And the other thing he's known for is he was a lover of nature. Right? He loved animals. He loved plants. He loved wherever we look around and we see God in nature, he loved it. Right? And I'll give you example. one example of what he did. He uh, established wildlife sanctuaries, okay? Now this is different from a zoo, and there's a big difference, because in a zoo you take animals and basically they're captive and you can look at them and enjoy them, but those poor creatures don't have their freedom. But what a sanctuary is where you take care of animals, who are especially the ones who are hurt and injured, you nurse them back to health and then you let them go again. And this is what Guru Harai Sahib did. Wherever he saw animals who were in need, he helped them and uh, until they're ready to go back into the wild. And so he created this uh, tradition of having, uh, of helping animals, right? And I think that's a beautiful thing that uh, I think we overlook these days. As you say, we don't even care about other human beings, much less animals, but animal rights is something that as a Sikh, we should care about. Things like uh, experimenting, a lot of things involve uh, uh, experimenting on animals, right? And so if we can find uh, products that avoid um, suffering to animals, that's a good thing, right? And so I think uh, whenever I think of uh, doing good to animals and loving nature, I think of Guru Harai right? So um, those are the, the, uh, the days that we had recently. Um, what else is uh, going on uh, in the news? Anyone want to share anything in particular that they've heard about? Yes? Uh, tomorrow is Brown Podcast. Okay, what's that about? If we get an early spring or not, right? Yeah. I think that's what it is, yeah. So that's, a, for those of you who don't know, that's a, a kind of a Western tradition uh, in the U.S. and Canada. Oh, Canada, 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 Canada,
uh, some stuff deep in that he comes out of his uh, hole in the ground and if you can see his shadow then that tells us one thing and if you can't see his shadow then it tells us something else so interesting little tradition but yes you're right thank you for sharing that very good yeah. so um, what else do we have coming up I want to see what we uh, any kind of group works coming up as well um, Again, I'm not used to having a, not having internet connection here. Let me just use my Wi-Fi from my phone. Yeah. Jeffy, are there any? Uh, Keystone programs or anything you know about coming up? We should let everyone know. No, no, no. Okay. Well, I know about one. Tomorrow there's a Keystone program have, uh, happening. Um, at uh, I posted in the group as well. Radhar Park or at the Glidden Gurdwara. And the unique thing about this program is I don't know if those of you who understand or appreciate the classical or traditional Keystone. Uh, so they're going to have three hours continuously of Keystone done in the traditional or classical way. And it's a very uh, amazing experience. Uh, you know, you feel like you know, now, say, you're transported back, you know, 300, 400 years at the time of the gurus and, and you're, you know, you, you really feel that flavor of, it's a different type of music completely. And so, uh, you can say, uh, if anyone wants to take advantage of that, it's happening at, at a Gurdwara not too far from here, Gurdwara from 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, in the evening, tomorrow evening. Right. Um, it's just going to happen uh, on Monday and Tuesday at 5 p.m. Uh, I heard about that. It was a uh, record breaking, huh? Too bad for you guys. Uh, did anyone get a snow day? Did you get one? Yeah? yeah. I was thinking you guys would miss it because uh, the snow started after Monday, so you probably went to school on Monday, right? Mm -hmm. It started in the afternoon. It was on last cancellation. So on, on, on Monday? Yeah. yeah, but on Tuesday, school closed. Tuesday was closed, yeah. Tuesday, I know, because obviously they were cleaning it up on Tuesday. I heard that. I heard that in the history of. Uh, Canada, was it? Or is it uh, Toronto? That they've never had that much snow in 24 hours. Can I think Toronto, right? Toronto. Yeah. Amazing. How many people uh, help their parents dig out of that, by the way? Yes? Good. If you didn't, come on, guys. What are you guys are young? That's what you're for, right? You're here to help your parents? Hmm? Yes, I'm using this right now. That's okay. Okay. okay, so uh, anyways, I wanted to keep today's class short, but I do want to, since we have just enough time, I'd like to do, uh, usually we don't get enough time for Simran, so why not do that? Because that's why we come here for, that's the main purpose of coming to Gurdwara, as I mentioned, in addition to having Guru Sahib's Darshan. Um, right now, I'm doing, uh, I'm trying to memorize the seventh Aspadi of so Kuni Sahib, in that Aspadi, Guru Sahib tells us about uh, Gal Ki Chal Rhi Odevechen, it's about Sat Sangha. Saad Kya Saam, Shikshar Sikhan, Ki Mil Dai. So Saad, uh, does anyone know what that means? Because sometimes all these things are synonymous. You know what synonymous means? It means, it means the same thing, right? A synonym is another word for the same thing. So whether we say Sat Sangha, Saad Sangha, Saad Ki Sangha, all those things, they mean the same thing. So what does Saad mean? Does anyone know? So a sad is, you could say, in the way it's used in Gurbani, is someone who loves Vaigur, right? Loves God. So sad sangat or sad ki sad ke sang or sad ki sad ki sad ki sangat is the company of those people who love God, and it's used to refer to jado masi kathe ho ke naam japte hain. That's called sad sangat or sad sangat. And in this, Aspadi Guru is talking about all the benefits that come from sad sangat. And I was just repeating that on the way here, and it just got, it became so clear to me. Because we want to do things to make God happy, don't we? Isn't that the challenge? 
I think we all know that if we make God happy, then it's good.